Okay, Unit 5 test review. I already wrote on this, so I'm going to do the first part of this on a piece of notebook paper. You already had the sheet. Okay, Unit 5 test review. First part, you need to express each value as a percent. Okay, so here's number one, 0 0.72, so it's a decimal. To make a decimal percent, you simply move decimal two places forward. So once, twice, that'd be 72 percent. Okay, number two, 3 fortieths. Now it's a fraction. Well, first you're going to divide, and then you're going to do the same thing you did here. Move decimal to forward. So I divide 3 by 40. That is not your answer. You still have to move the decimal to forward. So 1, 2, that would be 7.5%. Okay, number three, four and five eighths. We're going to divide the same thing we did here essentially. You just got can't forget about that four. Okay, so I divide five by eight, but you don't write that. Instead of having a zero in front of the decimal, you're gonna have a four in front of the decimal. This is a percent bigger than 100, so 462.5%. Okay. So that's how to express different values as percents. Okay. Now you're expressing each percent as a decimal. Okay, so number four, 0 0.26, or sorry, 26%. Well, now to you get, get it out of percent form into decimal form, you go, you move two places backwards, okay? So decimals here, once, twice, 0 0.26. There's your decimal. Okay, number five, three point four percent. Still the same. Even though you have a decimal within the percent, you still just move two left. But we don't have the percent. The decimal wouldn't be here; it'd be right here. So once, twice. Okay. So point zero three four with a zero in front. Okay, number six, fifteen and three fourths percent. Okay, well you got to get that fraction out of the percent, which you're going to divide, and then you're going to move two backwards. Okay, okay, so three divided by four, but you can't forget that the 15's there. So it says 0 0.75. It's 15.75. Then you need to move twice to the left, once, twice. So 0 0.1575. So really, it's just moving two backwards. Of course, if you have a fraction, you're going to divide, then move it two backwards. Okay, next one. Express each percent as a reduced fraction. Mixed numbers are acceptable. Okay, 85%. Now, if it's a whole percent, first off, you make it a fraction, okay? If it's a whole percent, you can just place over 100. And reduce, okay? You can use the ABC button, or you can do divide common factors. So we can just place the 85 over 100. Then you can divide them both by five, or you can ABC, doesn't matter. Okay. 
so 17 20 -ths. Okay. Number eight, 220 percent. Same thing with that one. You place it over 100 because a percent's a ratio per 100, and then you can just reduce it. End up as 22 over 10, 2 and 1 fifth. Okay. That's acceptable. If you choose to reduce it the old fashioned way, the zeros would cancel. You divide them each by 2, and that'd be 11 fifths. I'll take that. I'll take either one of those. Okay. It says they're acceptable, it doesn't say it has to be, so whatever. Number nine, you got to watch out for. You cannot place it over 100 when there's a decimal within the percent, okay? That doesn't work that way. You cannot put 0. Because watch what happens if I try to do 0 0.98 ABC 100. Yeah, okay? It doesn't work. All right, so if I, have, if I have to make a fraction out of this percent and there's a decimal, the first thing I do is move decimal to backwards. That's the first step. Then I'm going to count the place value, and I'll put 98 whatever the play, over whatever the place value is. Okay. So you got to move it twice. So it ain't going over 100 because we have 98, but it's tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths. Okay, you can try to ABC it. Okay, it doesn't work. You just get another decimal. So reduce by comp by prime factors. That'd be like two, three, five, seven. Well, we can reduce them both by two because they're both even. Okay, so it's forty-nine over five thousand. And you can't divide by two again because forty-nine is an odd number. You can't divide them by 3, you can't divide them by 5, you can't divide them by 7, so I think that's all she wrote. Okay. Alright, now back to the sheet I go. So again, watch that problem. You can't place it over 100 with a decimal in there. you got to move the decimal back twice, count place value, and so forth. Okay, find each percentage around two decimal places if necessary. Okay, I'm going to be using my proportion. If you use a different way and get the right answer, that's fine. So percent's 15. So is over of. Well, we have the of is 60 and then x. So 15 multiplied by 60 divided by 100. 9. Okay. Next one. These go pretty quick if you know how to set them up. Especially these first ones. Percent, you have 10 and 1 tenth, you can have that. Of is 92 and 1 fifth, and I'm figuring that out. So I take 10 and 1 tenth times 92 and 1 fifth, divide by 100. Okay, you can round to the nearest hundredth, it said 9.31. Okay. Okay, percent, and you don't, using this, you don't have to worry about moving decimals and stuff. See, you can just use your 0 0.25, and you're like, well, I thought it, you couldn't put that over 100. Yeah, you can, you just can't reduce it like that, and I don't really give a crap if it's reduced. Okay, I'm solving something now, okay? So 0 0.25 times 600 divided by 100, 1 1.5, okay? Darn right, you can put that over 100. You just can't reduce it, but I don't have any plans to reduce it. Okay. Okay, what percent of 275 is 108? So this time we're missing our percent. So there's the X, then is and of. So of 275 and then 108. So I'll be taking 100 times 108, dividing by 275. You need around a 39.27%. Two decimal places when necessary. Okay. Okay. So this time we do not have our percent. So that's X, then is, and of. Okay. So after of, you have 312. Sometimes the of is the lower number. That just means the percent is bigger than 100. So 100 times 400.9 divided by 312, 128.49%. OK, 
and we don't have the percent and is of so of is 12 and 1 fourth is 3 so 3 times 100 is 300 divided by 12 and 1 fourth okay 24 and 24 49 so you can write it and that's that too okay it's really close to 24 and a half but that's fine Okay, find each base. 50.06 is 67.3 percent of what number? Now we're back to having a percent. These should be easy points, okay? Which you're going to need them when you get to the story problems. So the percent 67.3. After of, it's what number? So of is what I don't have, and the is is 50.06. Okay, 74.38. You don't put a percent on that because you had the percent, okay? Okay, percent, 100 percent is of. Okay, so the percent, okay, we have our percent. It's three and three fifths of our, three and three, three whole percents and three fifths of another one. Okay, of what number? And then four fifths. So 100 times 4 fifths divided by 3 and 3 fifths, 22 and 2 ninths. Okay. Okay, so the percent we have is 123 of what number? So that's X and then 3 fourths. Okay. Again, percent of is. Okay. You can live off that on these problems, on story problems, you're not going to be able to. 2541. Again, it's a, it's okay in fraction or decimal form. I remember that from last year, they didn't care. Okay, find each percentage. For now, you're fine. now they jump around, okay? So you're doing the same thing, 100% is of... Okay, it says what percent, so we must not have the percent. After of, you have ten and a half, and then you have two. So 100 times 2 is 200, divided by 10 and 1 half. 19 and 1, 21. So 19 and 1 over 21 percent. Okay, this next one, we do have the percent. So we have 18% and we have the of, so we have our base 120.66. We're looking for the part of the base that would be equivalent to 18%. Okay, 21.72. Okay, I have my percent 82. After of, it says what number is 73. So I take 100 times 73 divided by 82, 89.02. Okay, now hold on to your horses. Those, you got to know those because story problems. Now there are other ways to solve these, but I'm going to be using my trusty two best friends here. The percent actual. And there's the percent with the total, that's if you see the word of, okay? If of comes after the percent. And then you got some trait, and then the opposite, then the total. So I call that the total 100. Now if you see words like increase, decrease, that's the original 100, plus, minus, and new. Okay, number 22. The tin part of red brass ranges from 0.5% to 2.5% of the total weight. So of means I want to go with this. What's the minimum weight of tin and 450 pounds of red brass? Okay, so I'm going to be setting up the total 100. Okay, and then that's the tin part. So you got the part that's tin and the part that's not tin. So let's talk about the minimum, okay? So the 10 part, 0.5%. Remember, we'll do another table down here for the maximum. Now you can always find the other percent by minusing. It's going to be 99.5%. 
then 450 pounds of red brass, well, that's your total weight, okay? So this is the percent, this is the actual. Now I want to know the tin part. I don't care about the not tin. So I can take 0 0.5 times 450 divided by 100. 2.25 pounds, okay? That's the minimum. Now we basically make another table just like it. Ten, not ten total. Okay. So again, a hundred percent's a total. Now this is the maximum. Well, the maximum's two point five percent ten. So the not ten part of the maximum would be ninety-seven point five percent, and four hundred and fifty is still my total. So again, I want to know the ten part. I don't really care about the not ten. So two point five times four fifty divided by one hundred, eleven point. Okay. That's your maximum amount. Do not make a table on this one this last year or this year. Don't do that. Okay. The profit of last year was $100,000. This year it's $135,000. What percent of last year's profit is this year's profit? You're going to put 100% and that's our answer right there. And then just put last year, or no, this year needs to go on top, okay? This year, last year. Last year always is from the 100. Okay, last year was 100,000. This year it's 135,000. So we're going to cross multiply and divide. Because these tables wouldn't apply to that time chronological, like what percent of Wednesday was Thursday and that crap. Okay, whoops, that did not work. Okay, 135%. Okay, you gotta be watching out for that. Okay, number 24, the horsepower of an engine is decreased, so that decrease word means I'm pretty much going to use this one, the 100 in the original. Decreased by 15% of the original horsepower when the engine is refurbished. The original horsepower is 250, find the horsepower loss after the refurbishment. So we want to roll with this, we want the percent, actual, and then the original. Decrease would be minus, not plus, and then the new. So the original, you got 100%. Okay, decrease by 15%. Okay, so minus 15. 100 minus 15 is 85%. Okay. Now, original means, well, it says it's the original, so 250. You want to find you don't want to find the new horsepower. You want to find the horsepower loss. So that means you actually want to find what goes here. Okay. So I take 15 times 250 divided by 100, 37.5. You just label that HP. So they want you to find how much was lost, which means you're finding that. You don't care about what it is new. Okay, number 25. An iron worker fabricates 28%, so it says of after it, so that's a dead giveaway. We're going to use this, okay? Percent actual. Fabricates 28% of the order railing. He fabricates 73.50 feet of railing. How many feet were ordered, okay? So the word underline is fabricate, okay? So fabricate, not fabricated. And then total. Okay, so 100%. So we fabricated 28%. You can minus these to find the result. It'd be 72%. Okay, now it says he fabricated 73.50. So I have the actual amount of fabricating. Okay. How many feet were ordered? That's your total. Okay, so. So you take 100 times 73.50 divided by 28, 262.5 feet. Okay. ok, 
Okay, number 26, a construction worker has an inventory of 25 8 feet. By the way, multiply those right away. 25 times 8 is going to be uh, 200 feet. So he's got 200 feet total in his inventory. The first job requires 30% of the inventory. The second job requires 35% of the inventory remaining after the first job is completed. How many feet remain in inventory after the second job? You're going to need two boxes, okay? It says of, okay? Now wait before you go to the second one. You don't even set that up, okay? So percent actual, then total. Now underline it says requires. So requires, not required. Okay, so 100% is your total. Okay, so they give me the requirements, 30. So not required, 70%. Now the inventory is your total. You had 200 feet to start with. Now, you're finding how much remain. Okay, listen to me. So you're finding the not required. Okay, because you are, the ones that require, those are gone. You can, you want to, you're finding how many remain. You're finding the not required. So 70 times 200 divided by 100, 140, okay? Now, you set up the same table with the same labels. Required, not required. Okay, so the second job, 100%. Required was 35%. We minus, you get 65%. Now, you have to take this 140 from here because that is now our new total, okay? And we want to find the remaining, so again, it's a not required. Not the required. Required is how much I use, but you got to transition then the 140, and that's now your new total. So now, 65 times 140 divided by 100, 91, okay? So you have 91 feet remaining. So again, you gotta watch that. Okay, it's all required, not required. When they're asking you how much remain, then you want the not required. But then you have to transition that because that's how much we haven't used. And then for the second job, that becomes our new total. Okay, number 27. A chef for a food catering service prepares 85 pounds of beef. The amount prepared is 15% more than is consumed. Find the number of pounds of beef consumed. So again, that's going to be an original with 100%. So, percent actual, original, plus, it's plus because it's more. So 100%, 15% more, 100 plus 15 is 115. Okay, um... Yeah, this can be tricky where to set the 85 pounds, okay. Um, the 85 actually, we obviously know it goes here, here, okay. Now, the amount prepared is 15% more than what's consumed, so the original is how much is consumed, okay, and the new is how much he prepared, okay, so that's going to be your new right there, because again, so again, you're, and I, that one's kind of confusing, but then the original, because it's 15% more than what he consumed, the amount prepared is, okay, so the prepared amounts with the 15% more. So that would go here. And I have to find how much is consumed. So I'd take 100 times 85 divided by 115. Okay. 73.91. Okay. And that makes sense, okay? So people consume that much, but they always have to prepare more than what they consumed. You don't want, you can't consume it if it's not prepared. 
So again, the 85 is your new, okay? And then this X, the answer I got, X is the original. Okay, 28 should be easy um, if you know how to set up. Manufacturers prepare antifreeze in 5% solution, okay? That means 5% is antifreeze, 95% is water. How many ounces of solution are made with 8 ounces of antifreeze, okay? So this is an of, okay? Put that right there. So percent actual. So total, 100%. Now the side labels would be your antifreeze and not antifreeze, okay? All right, 5% antifreeze, so it'd be 95% not antifreeze, okay? Now we have eight ounces of antifreeze, okay? And I want to know how many, when I ask you for ounces of the solution, that's the total, okay? So you can cross that out, so you take 100 times eight, divided by five, 160, 160 ounces. 160 ounce solution, because eight out of 160 is 5%, okay? 